and everybody talks about, about the project pipeline. I think we, we've got a pretty good one there. If we can get the uh, development at Gats or get the underground online, we've got a significant growth that's possible in the next three to four years. One of the things with those projects as Brownfields projects, <coughs> we view them as, as fairly low technical risk in that certainly there's no new mill that needs to be constructed, although we do need to add some operating circuits. But the metallurgy of these projects are all very well known to us. And we also see uh, the uh, regional exploration uh, and, and some of the JVs we're in as being a long-term value driver. We just would recognize that we have a gap there of looking out three to five years, when are we going to bring other new projects in? And part of the, the reason that we're more aggressive there, we're, we're making these investments, building the new projects, and our cash balance is continuing to grow. We're up near $400 million. We have the cash to build a third project. We just need to, to find that and bring it online. <coughs> 